All right, welcome back. It is January 1st, 2021, and it is Friday afternoon. Um, big, huge ice storm just rolled through the Midwest, specifically uh, central central Illinois, northern Illinois. Um, I'm going to head down for the late season to see if I can uh, fill a tag. Uh, it's antlerless only uh, at this time in Illinois, uh, but going to try to get some meat in the freezer. And so I'm going to head down tonight and head off first thing tomorrow morning. And uh, so hopefully we'll have some good luck and we get something, uh, something a little more substantial in the freezer. Thanks for joining us again. Okay, so I sat all morning, didn't see anything, and uh, it was time to get out of the stand. Uh, nature was calling, and I had to get some lunch, uh, so it seemed like a good time to leave. So I got down on the stand, walked to my truck, which was parked along the tree line, and something made me turn around, and when I turned around, I saw this. Okay, so what you're about to see next, I got a little late in the morning because of the snow and I had just gotten to my location. Um, I hadn't set anything up yet other than my decoys. I just placed them, um, shook them up, they, you know, kept them out overnight. They were laying down, so I got all the snow off of them, uh, stuck them in the ground. They're probably about 25 yards from the base of the stand. I walk into the woods, I put my stuff down at the base of the stand, and I look out towards the field, and probably about 30 to 40 yards past the decoys, so probably 60 to 70 yards from me, are three deer coming at a pretty quick trot right at me. And I'm standing, standing up, totally exposed, <clears throat> with a white backdrop. Um, I'm pretty sure that they've seen me at this point. Um, they keep coming, so I dropped onto a knee real quick. I grab my gun, I'm going, 
okay, the, the hunt's over. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a deer. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. I'm and <laughs> and I'm out of here. Um, the first deer came in uh, to check out the decoys, and the other two held back about 20 yards. I didn't get a chance to get my camera out. Nothing. I mean, it all happened so fast. And uh, I took a shot, hit the first deer. It runs into the woods um, just to my left. And the other two deer, in confusion, not knowing what's going on, see their their friend or their first deer run into the woods. So they come running up um, to, to where the decoy is. And then that's where the video continues. Sunday morning. <clears throat> it snowed last night, so it took a little longer getting out just because where I'm at, the roads aren't plowed, so I don't want to be driving in any ditches. <laughs> so I'm coming in late, right? I already feel pretty exposed. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm silhouetted against the sky, everything, and I'm coming in. I hadn't even gotten my blind. I just got to the opening for my blind. I just put out my two decoys, brushed them off, stood them up, I walked. 25 yards into the base of the stand about to get my gear on and I look back out and the deer were either over at that tree line already or they saw the decoys get put out and they thought I was one of them and by the time I was here there were three does about 35 40 yards and coming and I didn't have a chance to get my camera out <laughs> I didn't have a chance to get anything. I haven't put on any of my cold weather gear. I haven't gone up in the stand, nothing. And uh, that doe just came right in, came right into the decoys to check them out. And uh, I got my gun up and uh, she's over there. So I gotta go find her. But uh, <laughs> well, I was talking about an easy hunt. Oh my gosh, um, this was crazy. This is definitely one of the craziest hunts I've ever had. I've never had anything like this. It's like the little kid going to the pond with his parent and, throwing a line in to catching the biggest biggest fish on the first cast this is crazy um yeah i'll show you my stuff is still piled up here by the by the base of the camera so uh, get my gloves off can't zoom there's my backpack <laughs> there's my pants and my gun 
right at the base of the stand. Unbelievable. And I shot, I shot her and she ran in there. I heard her, I heard her ball up over there somewhere. So I have to go find her. But the other two deer came right in, even though shot came from here, they ran after their friend and they came in here and they ran up to those two decoys. Um, as you'll see from the video footage and they were just, they couldn't figure out what was going on, why those two does were just sitting there. And, uh, that one doe just kept stomping her foot, be like, Hey man, we got to get out of here. But, uh, so wow. What a, uh, what a crazy start to the morning. So let's go find that deer. All right, well, the good news is uh, I tracked her and uh, she's back on the property I was hunting. Um, it's a great blood trail. I mean, she was bleeding out a lot. I thought she was down for sure. Um, I was giving her time. And uh, like I said, there were big pools of blood and uh, she dragged me all over Hill and Dale, but she doubled back on our property. And, and uh, so I'm just gonna grab my decoys, go have lunch. I marked a good spot where she was last. Um, can't miss it. Again, it looks like somebody threw a bucket of paint. Um, just gonna give her some time and I'll come back. She'll be here. So it's been a crazy morning, but uh, you know, I just gotta just gotta close it out here and and uh, we'll have meat in the freezer. All right, so I got him. It was a button buck. Uh, thought it was a doe, but um, he's down. And uh, we get uh, you know the harvest is complete. I got food for the table. Uh, the Stewart family will eat this year, so that's I'm grateful for that. Um, so I'm going to get tagging and, and field dressing and, and then get them dragged out to the truck. And uh, so uh, <laughs> I'll see where we go from here. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. All right, well, thanks for joining us again. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying these. And... Uh, We've got uh, hopefully a couple more, couple more episodes in the works here in the, uh, the next couple weeks. Uh, but uh, it's been great. Had a lot of fun. I appreciate all your support. May your adventures continue. Stay safe out there, and we will see you next time. Take care.